The crypto market is starting to really heat up ahead of this coming bull run. Volatility is bubbling over. Big institutional players are buying truckloads of ETH and Bitcoin. Long-term sentiment among the big boys is hugely bullish. And the crypto market is pumping out shed loads of new altcoins. But there's one sector that's been drawing huge amounts of attention. It's a sector that has printed generational wealth, but has also been the cause for crashes, controversy and carnage. So today I'm going to take a closer look at the meme coin sector and get an understanding of why it's been popping off and what is driving it. Because underneath all of this is a big question. Are meme coins the new altcoins? Should you be focusing your efforts on meme coins this bull run? We'll stick around as I dive into this topic and reveal the answers to you guys so you don't put a foot wrong. Because believe me, crypto is a minefield right now and you don't want to take one wrong step. But before we get started, a quick reminder that this is not financial advice and I'm not a financial advisor. This video is not intended for UK consumers. Don't invest unless you're prepared to lose all the money you invest. Crypto is a high risk investment and largely unregulated. You are unlikely to be protected if something goes wrong. If you're not in the UK, let's get started. Before we get into the current state of the meme coin sector, let's take a broader look at meme coins and why they create so much hype and frenzy. The first meme coin was, as we all know, Dogecoin. Launched in December of 2013, this coin is now iconic and is a mainstay in crypto. It's the granddaddy of all meme coins that have followed ever since. It set the standard for what a meme coin is and what they're fundamentally based around are memes and jokes. The founders created Dogecoin to be a satirical joke on crypto payment methods. Since then, Dogecoin went on to perform things no one thought possible. For instance, in January 2014, its trading volume briefly surpassed the trading volume of all other cryptos combined. In January of 2018, its market cap reached $2 billion. And then something crazy happened. In 2021, Elon Musk announced a rideshare to the moon completely funded by Dogecoin. That was literally sending a meme coin to the moon. And the momentum for Dogecoin carried through. Later that year in March, Mark Cuban announced that Dogecoin could be used to purchase tickets and merchandise for his NBA team, the Dallas Mavericks. All of this accumulated in Dogecoin hitting over 89 billion in market cap and ranking as the fifth largest crypto by market cap. So when we look at the current state of the crypto market and the obsession with meme coins, you only have to look at Dogecoin to understand why people get so enticed by them. If you could ride a coin up to a valuation of $89 billion, you'd very likely be a multimillionaire. But is it all as glamorous as it sounds? What's underneath the hood? And what do meme coins actually offer? When you're looking at shall we say, more legitimate crypto projects, you look at what the crypto's utility is. What is the function? What value does it provide its users or society at large? Infrastructure for AI obviously provides companies with cheap, alternative methods to train their AI and scale, all without taking on the risk of acquiring the tech and costs themselves. Pretty obvious in terms of the value and utility. But meme coins are different. They often provide little to no utility at all. They're simply a joke with a token that serves no real purpose other than to generate value out of thin air. So why do they see success? Well, if you get down to the fundamental basics of value, anything we as a society deem as having value therefore becomes valuable. It's then a question of how much we value that thing. And there's also the detachment from physical, tangible value and monetary value. A $10 note is made up of cotton and ink. It's not physically that valuable, but that $10 value isn't linked to its physical value. If you have a family heirloom, it could be priceless to you, but to someone else, it could just be a random piece of junk that wouldn't get more than $10 at a car boot sale. But you place a much higher level of value on it than others because of its sentimental value. So when it comes to meme coins, the value they have is ultimately decided by people in the market. If people keep buying and holding something, its value goes up. Well, it has that value in the moment, at least in terms of the numbers on the chart. But 
In the case of Dogecoin, this is exactly what happened. And then you have people like Musk and Cuban come in and they actually give the coin more legitimacy and utility. All of this accrues value and the coin becomes more valuable until it doesn't. The weakness with meme coins is their inherent lack of utility. What's keeping the value up? If there's no utility, it's simply the belief the market has in the asset's value. That can be said of many things in all markets. After all, any market is just something humans made up and gave a monetary value to. The classic case everyone refers to when it comes to value is the famous Dutch tulip bulb bubble. This was the first asset bubble that popped. Everyone was buying tulips, getting hyped, and it all came crashing down a few years later. One element of that crash is that the tulips were a popular fashion item. Outside of that, they weren't useful for anything. Meme coins are similar in this sense. They can have immense value and lose it in an instant. You see this a lot with meme coins. They're volatile. They can see huge gains and equally huge losses in a matter of hours. A recent example is the Restore the Republic meme coin. This is a Trump meme coin that had rumours swirling around that it was the official coin of the Trump campaign. This gave it a lot of value, or should I say potential value. Whilst the coin hit over 150 million market cap, it all came crashing down. Eric Trump declared the meme coin was in fact not the official coin of the Trump campaign. What happened next? Well, a 95% drop in price happened. All value basically erased from one tweet. Meme coins exist on shaky ground, and because they don't have any utility, they are typically extremely volatile. Now, on the other hand, meme coins align with some of the core pillars of the crypto space. The primary one being the separation of finance from the big established players like banks, governments, and huge investment entities that essentially dictate the financial world. The fact that a joke coin can accrue value is, in a way, a big middle finger to the rules that have been set up by the established financial elite. Why should people play by their rules that serve their interests? Why should we trust a bank with our money after an event like the 2008 financial crisis? The game is rigged after all, so upsetting the status quo like this can be empowering for people, especially if they feel that the financial system is engineered to suppress instead of elevate. So that leads us to the big question. Are meme coins the new altcoins? Should you be putting your time into this sector? There are a lot of meme coins popping off right now. So much that you could be convinced that they are the new altcoins and you should focus on them in order to make it this bull run. And it's human nature to be enticed by something that is a huge, quick, easy win. It's why gambling is so popular. But I don't believe that meme coins are the new altcoins. There's several reasons and I'll lay them out for you now. And this is important because where you dictate your time and effort now is going to impact your future in crypto. Number one is politics. With the US elections coming up, things are getting pretty heated. There's a lot of online debate and argument between the Democrats and the Republicans. But relating to meme coins, we're seeing a huge influx of politically based meme coins that is in part a driver of the current meme coin frenzy. Meme coins run on sentiment and grassroots communities. Trump, Biden, and now Kamala meme coins are the textbook definition of the kind of cult-like communities you see with meme coins. A fervent community behind a meme coin is the backbone of the project's success. Politics is fertile ground for the kind of frenzies, fervent support that meme coins thrive on. So it's no surprise to see politics and meme coins align. Now, this is giving meme coins more exposure and talking points than they otherwise would have. Once the elections are over, you will see political meme coins fall off a cliff. So the hype that we're seeing now is, in my opinion, not gonna last. Reason number two is the success rate and risk attached to meme coins. There are hundreds of thousands of altcoins launched each month right now. Do you know how difficult it is for an altcoin, let alone a meme coin, to find success in such a huge pool of cryptos? And that's not even counting the list of established cryptos they have to contend with. The reality of the situation is that most meme coins fail, just as most altcoins fail, except with meme coins, it's even harder for them to find sustained success. 
With no utility, it's often entirely based on the community and the marketing that the project relies on to drive value. This is quite risky. Can anyone guess what joke or meme is going to resonate with people and become a mainstay? Could anyone predict that Dogecoin was going to be such a hit? Meme coins are kind of like the lottery of crypto. It's unlikely you catch the one that pops off, especially given most fail. So it's a bit of a flip of a coin, guys. Reason number three is that meme coins tap into two weaknesses that humans fall prey to, FOMO and greed. When you're hearing about a crypto, it's probably already too late. When Bitcoin makes its way into mainstream media, it's also probably too late. But people FOMO in anyway. The idea that we can catch that big win, just like in a casino, is so enticing that people often can't resist. And meme coins tap into this weakness we have. Greed can drive people to make bad decisions. It can lead to dreams dictating decisions instead of objective data. The dream is very likely just a dream. A meme coin's value is partially the selling of that dream scenario to people. Phrases like it's going to the moon and get generational wealth tap into that desire to make it big and do it quickly and easily. The reality is often different. And if someone is selling you a dream, it's probably too good to be true. Reason number four is regulatory concern. The landscape of crypto is shifting. Legitimacy is here. Big money investments have arrived and regulation has started to enter the picture. Regulation around crypto will only increase from here and I'll bet that meme coins will come into focus. We can't say for sure how the regulatory landscape will impact crypto, but it's an area that will very likely impact meme coins. So the days of meme coins could very well be numbered, which takes me to my final reason. And reason number five has to do with where crypto is headed. Look, the reality is that crypto is hitting the mainstream. Institutional investors, banks, governments, you name it, they're all starting to enter the fray. This means the future of crypto will be different to how it looks now. And ultimately, that means the meme coin landscape will fundamentally change. How could it not? There are rug pulls and scams aplenty. Meme coins are the true wild west of crypto. And if we see crypto become legitimized and adopted, I don't think we'll see meme coins as a huge part of that future. But all this depends on where you think the future of crypto is heading. Let me know in the comments. Do you think meme coins are here to stay in crypto forever? Or will they become a dying breed of coin? We could have a scenario where only the integrated big meme coins like Doge, SHIB and Pepe remain. The future is uncertain, but I think that your efforts should be on coins that aren't memes. Crypto is going mainstream and there are thousands of projects that are delivering value to society that will be part of our future. Why wouldn't you want to focus on that potential? But until next time, guys, remember, trade smart, don't be a dumbass, and I'll see you soon.